Fox 9 Good Day, the Twin Cities area. We know full of great little cities. And we'd like to highlight as many of them as possible. Today we're focusing on the lakeside city of Excelsior. It's a place to shop, eat, spend time with family. Kendall Mark joins us with more on her recent visit and her gems she found. Hi, Kendall. Hi, good morning to all of you. Yes, I think we're all looking for that postcard package Christmas experience this time of year for everyone. They've got all the shops, the quaint little restaurants, everything that you might need. And it's only just down Highway 7 for all of us who live in the Twin Cities. Check out Excelsior. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, downtown Excelsior has a little bit of everything. A popular brewery, plenty of restaurants, and dozens of gift, trinket, and clothing shops all line the decorated streets. One of those shops is Golden Rule Gallery. I love downtown Excelsior. It's so fun. What does it mean to you as a business owner to get to be right here in the heart of downtown? It's honestly really magical. I mean, sometimes I think I say, and it sounds trite, that we live like in a Hallmark movie, mm -hmm. and it really is better than that. It's a little bit more Mayberry. Um, it's truly small town USA. Erin calls the shop her heart and mind in a room with everything from poetry to vintage goods, artwork and antiques to locally made jewelry. If you're having a hard time figuring out what to get someone for the holidays, shopping small could be your best bet with a custom curated gift. And I think shopping small is really similar to shopping for someone who is more discerning mm -hmm. in that it takes just another minute. Like my favorite thing to do is when I'm doing a gift box for somebody, like a custom gift box, is I ask them to go through this exercise. like. Stream of consciousness, talk to me about this person, tell me everything, likes, dislikes, your take on them, your observances, like anything. It might feel like it's trivial, but I can work with all those little bits of information mm -hmm. to build something that I think they will like. And then there's less pressure on that one big perfect gift. And it's all these tiny things that made you think of that person. Whether it's a color or a scent or just a complete vibe or aesthetic, I think you can be successful in your gift giving just if you just take another minute. Next up, a stop at the Jingle Bar at Cast and Crew Restaurant in Old Log Theater for a little holiday nostalgia. So oh my gosh, the Santa Bear. Oh yeah. I used to have one of those. <laughs> Set on 12 acres right outside of downtown, the restaurant and theater have been whining, dining, and entertaining patrons since the 1940s. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Just outside the theater sits a 125-year-old log cabin home of this season's Jingle Bar. This is probably my favorite room I've been in all holiday season, so bravo to Thank you, Marissa. Thank you. I, yeah, love I love it. It's usually home to private parties, weddings, and events, but every year they turn the space into a holiday spectacle with garland, baubles, and Christmas cocktails, like the Yuletide Mule and Santa's Old Fashioned. Welcome to the Northern Express. <laughs> Finally, just three miles from downtown, you'll find the magical world of the Northern Express. This winter festival for all was dreamt up by local parents and small business owners who wanted to bring a little more joy and childhood magic to the holiday season. We've got um, shopping, we have activities, we have live animals, um, there's food to eat, and just the grounds out here are amazing. It feels mm -hmm. like we walked into a Hallmark video. You know? Oh, totally. <laughs> but yesterday when it was snowing, it was just incredible. Speaking of the big man, you can sit with Santa and his holiday friends, walk with llamas, and try out the new Elf Arcade, all while strolling around what really is a winter wonderland. The most incredible experience for me, and I think for anybody else on our team, is seeing the joy in the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, for them, it is still, it's that magic that we all did feel and we all still feel in some capacity, but to see them light up when they see Rudolph or they see Frosty and to pull sleds across the grounds and to, you know, drink cocoa, spill it everywhere and still be happy. <laughs> um, it's something that, that can't be recreated unless you're in the moment and that's pretty amazing. And it doesn't get old. It doesn't, no. no. Fun. Yeah, it was Excelsior. it was really cool. I mean, I said this in the beginning, but I think so many of us go to a lot of these places on the rivers or the lakes over the summer and you experience yeah. that, but then you yeah. just kind of forget about it in the winter time. Mm -hmm. And downtown is just decked out. It was like a little holiday card everywhere we walked. <laughs> I just wanted to hang out and take selfies everywhere. <laughs> um, but a couple of those things that we mentioned, I know you were at the Northern Express as well. Yep. Uh, they're just the next two weekends. And then the Jingle Bar that we were at, that's Thursday through Sunday as well. So if that's okay. something that you want to get into, they recommend getting there a little bit early, four o'clock 
ish at casting <laughs> okay. crew. People start Not lining up. <laughs> Hello, Seriously, here. Like people yeah. start lining up yeah. at the door because it's so cute. Yeah. And it's small and quaint. And um, the shops are all fantastic there in downtown Excelsior. Golden Rule alone. She sells so many uh, curated local women owned business items. A couple of jewelers that I know we've all featured on these various mm -hmm. shows are there. Yeah. Ceramics, art. It's just. It's a great place to shop, but if you're like, oh, I don't have a lot on my list, just go and experience it. You know, just do it. <laughs> Why not? It looks like a page out of a Dickens story. It, you know, hundred percent. Really just everything. And all everyone's the things, so happy and Christmas welcoming things. and like, hi, yeah. welcome to Excelsior. You well, make thank a, you. You make a good point, though. There's a lot of those towns where we think about them in the summer because mm -hmm. it's by the lake, and you're right. like, well, yeah, that makes sense. And then, but give them some love in December yeah, and right. January. If we yeah. want them to thrive in the summer, yeah. they have three other seasons that they need to thrive in too. So <laughs> yes. the shops and restaurants, restaurants aren't going away. They're nope. still there. Nope, they're there. <laughs> awesome. Kendall, thank you. Yeah, Appreciate it. Uh